When performing a rheumatological examination, you must look, feel and move every joint. Position the patient initially sitting, but later standing with their arms, shoulders and torso fully exposed. Women may keep their bra on. Okay, I get you to put your hands kind of high on your hips there. On examination of the shoulder, consider the skin, joints and muscles. When looking at the skin, remember the mnemonic EARS, which stands for erythema, atrophy, rashes and scars. Look at the shoulder joints for swelling and deformity. Note any muscle wasting. Okay, look, I'm just going to feel around the joints in your shoulders. Next, we move on to feel the shoulder joints. This includes the sternoclavicular joint, the acromioclavicular joint, the acromium, the coracoid process, and around to the spine of the scapula. First, feel for warmth by palpating with the back of your fingers. Compare left and right. Next, check each joint for tenderness by compressing each of the above joints. During palpation for tenderness, note any swellings and the presence of any nodules. So Luke, could I get you to stand up please? Test for active movement by asking the patient to move their shoulders through their normal range of motion. Test shoulder abduction and external rotation by asking the patient to place their hands behind their head. Test shoulder internal rotation by asking the patient to place the dorsum of each hand on the opposite scapula. Okay, that's perfect. So um, I get you with each arm to go all the way up like that, straight out in front of you. Test flexion of the shoulder by asking the patient to lift each arm out in a straight line in front of them until their fingers are pointing at the ceiling. That's perfect. And now with the first arm I get you to put your arm back as far as it'll go. Test extension of the shoulder by asking the patient to raise each arm back in a straight line as far as it'll go. Now I get you to swing your arm out as far as it'll go to the ceiling. Right, and with the other arm. Okay, perfect. And now can you bend your elbow like that? Can you push your arm out that way? Great, and now in this way. Great, and now do that with the other arm. And then keeping your elbow. Very well, yeah. Okay. Can I get you to put your elbow with their elbow bent at 90 degrees and tucked into their side, apply pressure to the lateral side of the forearm. Ask the patient to push against your hand. This tests external rotation against resistance. To put your elbow in there again. With their arm relaxed at their side, ask them to raise it out into abduction against resistance. This tests the ability to initiate abduction, which can be a problem in rotator cuff injuries. I guess to put your arm out like this. Ask the patient to abduct their shoulder by 90 degrees and resist as you press down on their arm. Ask the patient to raise each arm straight up in the air. Then slowly adduct each arm down to the side. This test for painful arc seen on active adduction between 60 and 120 degrees in impingement. Slowly pull it back to your side. 